Okay, you heard it, everyone, recording in progress. So I'm going to kick things off. Welcome, welcome to this Beauty Pie Masterclass. It's a fragrance special because there are some amazing new perfumes that have joined the Beauty Pie family and some candles as well, which are incredible. Um, a little bit maybe about me first, just so you know who I am on your screen. So I'm Alice Dupark. I was a beauty journalist for like 20 years, worked for all sorts of different publications. And um, over the past few years, I focused my work on fragrance because it is my obsession and I can talk about it for hours. As you know, if you follow me on Instagram, there's a lot of perfume chat there. Um, I love it so much that I have probably about 2000 bottles of fragrance in my home. I talk about it all the time. I love it. I live and breathe it every day. And uh, I've turned my kind of writing into speaking. So I do lots of event hosting and lots of stuff and on Instagram, lots of interviews, everything all about perfume and candles and the joy of scent. And I personally love Beauty Pie as a brand. I wear a couple of their fragrances already. I might talk about those later. Um, and I love the concept of Beauty Pie, the sort of no marketing middlemen, sort of almost like a egalitarian beauty club where it's a bit like Netflix for like luxury beauty products. I love it. And the fine fragrances that they have are amazing. Um, hopefully you've got lots of uh, favorites as well. Um, and if anyone smelt the new ones yet, let me know in the chat box. So a couple of sort of things about that. As we mentioned before, the uh, show is being recorded. And if anyone needs to leave or can't watch or anything, it's going to be uploaded onto YouTube quite soon. So it'll be available to watch afterwards. Um, please ask me any questions in the little chat box. I'll keep a sort of eye on it. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> the wallpaper I'll come back to that later but yeah it's Cole and Son cost an arm and a leg but it was worth every penny it's my forest therapy I love it so much and this is like my tiny little shoebox office but it is my space without my kids crap and all of that stuff um and let's have a look level alert stay yes okay good point beauty pie team um if we can maybe all put ourselves on mute like that there's no sort of clashing sounds that really really helps however pop yourself on your screen so I can see your lovely faces above as well but don't feel pressure to do that because I don't know some people don't really like like doing that um there is a little competition later on uh I'll talk about that nearer to the end but keep a listen out for the ingredients that I talk about one in particular that's a little clue to later on but it'll be a really fun prize and uh anyway you'll see it later um so beauty pie amazing amazing incredible brand the fragrances if you don't really know the beauty pie fragrances yet they're all made by incredible perfumers like I'm talking noses perfumers who work for massive big designer brands that you've all heard of but who have worked with Marcy Kilgore, the owner, founder of Beauty Pie, to make really special fragrances, credible, high quality, ethical fragrances that don't cost an arm and a leg, which is so important because I'm of such a big champion of uh, pocket friendly perfumes. And within the sort of Beauty Pie members egalitarian sort of system, you can access these incredible perfumes. And the ones I'm talking about today, £28 each. like. It blows my mind how incredible the quality is, how long lasting they are, because one of these, I'm telling you, eight hours ago I sprayed it and it still smells. Ah! That's the second one I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about, oh, should we just get into it straight away? No, I want to talk about the perfumers because that is such an important thing. So we have people like Frank Vocal, Didoni Lantetseur, Serge de Oliveira, who are really respected and renowned perfumers in the world honestly these are these are the types of people there are fewer master perfumers than they are people who have gone to the moon like unbelievable quality and credibility here and I think that's what makes beauty perfumes is so so special okay so as I said all these fragrances have something in common 
So keep a little listen out for what I'm talking about in terms of the ingredients. But the collection is all quite warm and cosy, which is quite different to a lot of the beautiful fragrances in the past because they've been lots of sort of splashes and green bright fragrances and lots of citrus ones as well. Oh, someone said, Katie, I'm a mandarin leaf girl. Can't wait to find a winter fragrance from this collection. Oh my God, I've got the best suggestion for you. Uh, my current favourite is Orange Absolute. Thank you, Natty, a long-standing fave. I've got it here, actually. This is one of my favourites too, Orange Absolute. But this new collection, there's something really dreamy and warm and quite addictive about all three of them, yet they're all very, very different. So I think I'm going to start off with Figue de Amalti. Oh, has anyone got this one yet? Figue de Amalti. Amalti, the inspiration is the Adriatic coast and the beautiful fig trees that grow there. And the figs that grow there are actually they're very particularly almost like honeyish in their sweetness. However, this fragrance, if you like a fig fragrance, oh my gosh, it's so delicious. Some fig fragrances can get too jammy and sweet and some can get almost like too green and biting. And this is the perfect balance between both of those worlds. It is creamy, cozy, luscious, fleshy, decadent and indulgent. And it has this sort of solar warmth to it, which makes you think of like these, those kind of fleshy, creamy petals that you get in kind of tropical islands like Gardenia and Frangipani. So you get this like floral warmth to it, but you have a slight green bite of the fig, which is almost like a kind of milky green. Does that make sense? You know how you peel a fig and you get this sort of gorgeous skin that has like a bit of kind of milk inside it? Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, thank you for this comment. Someone says, how does it compare with Velocicos? It's not as green as Philosikos, and that means that it almost feels quite sort of creamy on the skin. It has a note of vanilla in the base. And when I say vanilla, some people go, no, that's absolutely not for me. There's something so delicious about vanilla that it really kind of melts into your pores. And with a fragrance like Figure de Malte, it gives it this like hug, this huggability on the skin. It is so, so beautiful. Someone here has mentioned well, a German wild fig in Cassis, which it continues, yes, very sadly. It is in that same vein. So you get this kind of bite, but there's also like a creamy fleshiness to it as well. It is so, so beautiful. I would, oh God, actually, you know what? I want this as a candle. Marcia, please make that happen. And a body lotion, because actually it has this sort of milkiness to it. It is delicious. If you don't, like a fragrance that's overly floral, this is going to be the one for you in the collection because there's a sort of woody, green, damp creaminess to it. It is utterly, utterly beautiful. A fig hug. This is going on my shopping list. Yes, Jane and Johnny, anything closer to De Bezat? Okay, that is a great fragrance. I'd say that this is just a bit, a little bit warmer. That vanilla note brings a sort of cuddle to it, yet it's not too overpowering. It is really, really special. And I can see this definitely as a, oh, even like a, it's a great date fragrance, actually. I kind of have in my mind, like scenarios where people might wear this fragrance. It's good for dates because it's not a sort of like sex bomb fragrance. It's not too um, bitter and you know, pulling sort of like a shield. It's just got that lovely skin warmth to it that is clean and modern, but quite romantic and soft and dreamy at the same time. Really, really special. So that's Figure de Damalti. Oh, who likes the sound of that one? Yes, Hannah, the candle. Please, can we make this happen, Beauty Pie? I want the candle and the diffuser and the body lotion. Okay, so as I said, 28 pounds. Can we just talk about how mind blowing that is? For a fragrance that has lasting power and this beautiful, delicious, unique scent. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Okay, lots of fans about the candle idea. Are we listening, beauty pie people in the back? Yes, we are. Okay, the next one I'm going to talk about. This is so good. Who has smelled this one yet? Actually, they're so new, maybe. 
your deliveries haven't arrived yet. Angelique's letters. Look at the colour of this. Now, I sprayed this at 8 a.m. this morning and it's now 6 p.m. It still smells on my skin. That's 10 hours of longevity. There are so few fragrances that can, that you can say that about. Loads of them claim it on the press release. I try, I try them all for like these lengths of time, days, I try on clothes, my skin. Honestly, at 8 a.m. I sprayed this and I still get the smell. It's phenomenal. Okay, is there a way to make them last longer? That's a really great question. Okay, I'm gonna to get to, I'm gonna do this question now and then get to the smell of Angelique's letters because it's so, so special. Okay, the best way, the best advice I can give to make your fragrance last longer, skin is the foundation. Make sure your skin is well exfoliated, moisturized, either with a scented cream that goes with your fragrance or like a neutral, lovely body lotion, because the quality of your skin, if it's not there, if it's too dry, you're gonna be spraying fragrance on you and your skin's just going to flitter away with the fragrance. So make sure that your skin is in the best possible condition. Use the body scrubs or use those kind of exfoliating mitts. I always spray on the tops of my wrists because, I mean, traditionally everyone sprays here, but, if you wash your hands, which we do several times a day, you're more likely to dilute this area than this area. And also your hairs are porous, so they'll hang on to the fragrance for longer. I spray my hair, I spray my kids' hair. No, not really, I mean, sometimes I do. Um, I spray quite a bit, but always on the tops of my wrist. That's a great place to keep your fragrance lasting longer. Put them in a cupboard away from sunshine because Perfume's a little bit like your skin. UV and, unfortunately, time will age your fragrance. So keep them somewhere dark and ideally quite cool. So I spray the crooks of my arms and back of my neck. Yes, yum, delicious. Um, okay, so Angelique Letters. Now, if anyone knows me and the way that I talk about fragrance, I'm not going to just list you the ingredients because that's a bit like listing the recipe ingredients to a cake. Like if I said baking soda and eggs and cocoa powder, no one would really understand what that would make. So if I said to you that Angelique's letters is like a lemon sherbet sweetie that you've dropped into a tumbler of like a crystal tumbler of like warm bourbon. Does that make you sort of taste it slightly? Honestly, this lemony note is almost like, it's like a lemon sherbet note. It's so luminous, yet you get this deep, sexy, slightly boozy, a bit tobacco-y note underneath and together, I feel when I smell this, I feel like I'm sitting in the fumoir bar at Claridge's with an old fashioned and everyone's just kind of doing their thing. They're spraying the wood polish on the bar. They're cleaning the glasses with their glass cleaner. There's some sort of tobacco in the background somewhere. There's a crystal flute of champagne being flown around. So you get this sort of modern, clean crispness but this kind of sexy, boozy, late night bar rah, to it as well. <laughs> and that, it's not a strong tobacco smell, actually. It's almost like fresh tobacco leaves. Thank you for that um, comment, Phoebe can. Um, it's more like a fresh tobacco leaf rather than like an ashtray smoky tobacco. It's not a smoky fragrance. This is honestly like this, like you've squeezed the peels of like an orange and a lemon and the golden oils kind of just peep out of like the pores of the citrus peel and you rub it on the rim of a glass of like bourbon or whiskey and that is what it smells like. It's so beautiful. The inspiration behind this is actually really cool. So Angelique, a lady, is a French lady of letters who was a novelist but also a journalist as a kind of side hustle and she would use the money that she earned as a tutor to look after 
to pay for a tutor to look after kids while she worked. So she's really representing this like multi sort of life juggling working mama. And I mean, I'm a working mum. I'm sure lots of parents here or people on the, the chat here are working parents as well. And we just try and do everything. We try and do it in that kind of swan way where your head is all sort of serene and still and your legs are flapping underneath. And sometimes you need a fragrance to help you steady those waves. And this is the type of fragrance to do it with. It's got this kind of modern, clean citrus edge to it, but this beautiful kind of slightly sweet, slightly honeyed, like spiced bourbon vibe to it as well. So that's kind of how it smells in my head. So the notes are lemon oil, bergamot, sweet tobacco, so this fresh sweet tobacco leaf, jasmine cinnamon oil, but not too much cinnamon. You know how cinnamon can go a little bit like too Christmas pudding or too like, you know how they put too much cinnamon in apple pies and it ruins it completely. So the cinnamon is just a teeny tiny little bit of like a seasoning. Oh, I love this comment. When I hear tobacco, I think of the um, the pouch of sweet smelling tobacco my grandfather had in his pipe. Gorgeous. That is such a lovely scented memory. Thank you for sharing that, Jane. That is just gorgeous. I think this one would be for you because it'll give you the sort of memories of that time, but it has this very modern edge to it as well. So it feels like you could wear it in the daytime, but also in the evening. It's a really, really versatile fragrance. So I was into the notes there, middle note, jasmine, cinnamon oil, clove, base note, cedarwood, musk, vanilla. So you know how some sort of rums and bourbons are, um, are kept in like oak barrels and almost fed these flavors of like spices and vanilla. That's where we're going here. It is so beautiful, so delicious. Honestly, 8 a.m. I sprayed this, so that's 10 hours. Is that right? Is my maths right? Yeah. And I still had that little bit of lemon sherbet, but almost like I've also, I don't know if anyone did this when they were kids. I did. Sorry, dad, in advance for this story. But if my dad had like a little bit of whiskey and at the very end of the evening when it almost kind of dried up and dehydrated and there was this tiny little like sticky bit on the bottom of the glass, I'd lick my finger and sort of roll it around with my finger and then taste it. And all the booze had gone by then, but there was this sort of sticky vanilla, honey spiced deliciousness about it. Did anyone else do that? Just me. Um, oh, Anret, what a lovely, lovely question. I also wanted to ask whether there's such a thing as a bedtime perfume, perfume to spritz as part of your bedtime. So I do this quite a lot actually, and I don't necessarily have one particular fragrance that I spray at bedtime. I have several because it depends on the sort of bedtime mood that I want to be in. I'm not going into that chat, everyone, don't worry. It's about the feeling of, do I want to feel like I'm sliding into crisp, cool, cold sheets on a hot evening? Then I'll go for something quite splashy and citrus. Do I want to feel grounded and calm and trying to kind of not do that 3 a.m. wake up call with my anxiety list of to-do things. Do I want something like that, something woody and calming and grounding with lots of sort of foresty notes? Then I choose something else. So don't worry about choosing just one particular thing. Just find a fragrance that you love and that really instills certain emotions and feelings and moods and match that to how you want to feel as you get into bed. I mean, it could be a bit naughtier than that, you know, depending on what you're up to. But there we go. Um, so I have a few different ones that I reach for. Sometimes just a really vanilla heavy fragrance because it makes me feel very comforted. It's very nostalgic. It's very kind of maternal type of smell. And it just makes me think of my kids if I'm away from home or if they're away, you know, that sort of thing. Um, oh, that's a lovely. Yes, vanilla at bedtime. Thank you, Kim. Oh, Yes, I use the scented lotion for this. I like to put it on my legs, feet and arms before bed. That's such a nice ritual, isn't it? And almost tricks your mind into thinking it's time for bed. It's time to switch off and like calm down now. Um, oh, yeah, incense to bed. Yummy, yummy. OK, we're going to move on to the next fragrance. Oh, I'm excited. This one is unlike anything I've ever smelled before. 
It's called La Poésie des Chiffres, the poetry of numbers. Now, the inspiration behind this, because this, yes, yeah, so it roughly translates as the poetry of numbers or numerical figures. So it sort of celebrates the idea of two things coming together and making something sort of incredible as a whole. So you have like art and science, poetry and numbers. It's not only warm, but it's sort of sultry as well, but it's also bright and refreshing. It's a kind of contradiction in a fragrance. And honestly, you've never smelled anything like this. It is a real dual personality fragrance. If you are a gourmand fragrance lover, this is going to be the one for you. It's gourmand, but it's not puddingy. So it's kind of got this really addictive, edible, bitter chocolatey note to it. But it's not as sweet as you think it's going to be. Honestly, if I read out the notes this is going to kind of just confuse everyone but this is why fragrance is such a fascinating world and I find it kind of mind-boggling so the top notes lemon mint marshmallow oh, cocoa powder freesia clary sage vanilla bean sandalwood sugared cedar and patchouli so those are the notes that are in this fragrance so you get the sort of half of the notes are almost like herbal, tonic, fresh, clean notes. Half of them are almost like a sort of co rich cocoa powder, slightly vanilla. This note of marshmallow, it doesn't smell like a fairground marshmallow in any way. It's more that it gives it this sort of squidginess to it, this like softness that you just want to kind of rub all over you. It is really, really beautiful. And it is for gourmand lovers who don't want a kind of screaming sugar headache. It's not that at all. And the most, what I find the most interesting note here is this kind of cocoa powder note. It's bitter it's got that bitter proper old-fashioned cocoa that like your grandparents made for you not the newer dairy milk stuff we're not talking about that this is like old school cocoa powder that you might use in baking that like people roll truffles in so dry but still so like delectable and addictive as well and then and it's so nostalgic because it makes you think of baking and using chocolate powder that you think, oh, I'm going to taste that because it looks really chocolatey, but actually it's quite bitter and it's so unusual. It's such an amazing scent. And then all you do is sort of pour a bit of water and it magically turns into something like really velvety and smooth. So this does that. This has this sort of journey in this fragrance. And it's this modern, mellow, gourmand fragrance without being too sweet. It is totally delicious. It comes as a candle as well and like a velvety body cream in like a glass a scoopy jar. And I make that because, I mean, look at that. That's what you want to do with one of those body creams. It's so delicious. I can see that Holly from Beauty Pie is popping all of the um, links there, but they're online and available now. £28 for these fragrances. Unbelievable. And the candles are amazing as well. Um, some really lovely comments. Is it like Angel by Cherry Mugler? That's a really good question because I've had DMs all day about this particular one. People go nuts for this one because it sounds like it could be quite like Angel by Cherry Mugler. It's nowhere near as um, unfair, play it like fairground as Mugler, which was the inspiration for for Angel. It's not as um, praline-ish, it's not as sweet, it's not as kind of foggy sort of powder bomb as Angel. It's much cooler than that because you have this lemon herbal clary sage vibe at the top. It cuts through all that kind of thickness. So it's just a more mellow, grown up, sophisticated gourmand, not a big screaming sweet gourmand at all. Really good question, perfume gift set. You know what, I'll get to that in a minute because I'm gonna go through like all the treats at the end. 
Um, currently, sorry, Isabel, we are talking about La Poésie des Chiffres. It comes in a candle and that pale pink up there. And also as a body cream, which just sounds delicious. Um, yes, we need a set of all three. Yes, we do. I think all three will have to be ordered today. Oh, I'm glad you think that too. This sounds gorgeous. Thank you, Lisa. You had me at the name as I'm missing my son who's just gone off to uni to study maths. I feel you. That's hard, isn't it? Good for him though. Maths is hard. Wow. He must be incredibly smart. Um, Aidan Curran, thank you for your question. Is it very sweet? Um, which is the least sweet of the three latest new scents? I have Une Ballade en Forêt. I adore it, but would like a sexy, sophisticated, feminine perfume for night. Okay, I would suggest either Angelique's Letters or Figue de Amalfi. Angelique's Letters, I am a massive fan of Une Ballade en Forêt, green, damp, woodland. I mean, it's like this wallpaper in a bottle, basically. Um, Angelique's Letters has a feel, the same feeling of kind of grounded sophistication. It would be more in the kind of Cologne world as Ballade en Forêt is, is as well, which by the way is back in stock as is Orange Absolute. So I'm really pleased about that because they're my two favorites from the kind of existing <laughs> Beauty by collection. But yes, if you love Ballade en Forêt, you will love Angelique's letters. It is stunning. Got the shower gel arriving tomorrow. Whoa, oh my God, Ballade shower gel. I didn't know that existed. <gasps> Okay, that's changed everything now. Right, I'm gonna have to go get that. So those are the three new Eau de Parfum. Lasting power is amazing. As I said, I sprayed this at 8 a.m. this morning and it's 6.30 and I still get it. And that's Angelique's letters, but all of them have amazing staying power. I've been trying them for quite a while now and they really cling on. And that's because um, Marcia and the Beauty Pie team are working with incredible perfumers, proper, amazing perfumers who know exactly what they're doing. And it is just such a joy to smell these fragrances. Um, yeah, so I want to talk about a candle that actually I was burning today. <laughs> and it made me feel quite emotional, actually. So the two candles that are new in the collection we've got La Poésie de Chiffre, which is the pink one up there, which is the identical scent to the fragrance, beautiful. It just creates a sense of nostalgia and warmth because of that amazing like cocoa powder note. It is stunning. But the fragrance, the candle that I really just, it really pulled some heartstrings today, especially actually, I don't know why today. And this is the fur, balsam, sandalwood and sweet orange candle. Look at the color of this, how beautiful it is. God, I've Burnt so much of it. When I opened the box, just the, the packaging box, I felt like I had cracked open the box of like Christmas baubles and tinsel from last year. You know, the boxes that sort of lay dormant for months and months and months, and then you crack them open. And <laughs> sorry, I'm just gonna grab a bit of water. My love island bottle. And you crack the box open and you can smell Christmas Day and the kind of the whole of the festive period, not just Christmas Day. It's the smell of getting ready for Christmas because you're putting the baubles up and that soft, hazy, nutty, twinkly light, slightly woodland smell of Christmas trees. And it is really so special and it just makes me think of all the wonderful happiness about Christmas and how my kids still, <laughs> sorry, still feel kind of the magic of Christmas and they make it magical for everyone else because of that. And the kind of getting ready enoughness of it all and decorating the tree and the smell is, it, it doesn't really matter like what the ingredients are because it's sort of almost a sum of its parts. It's just the most special nostalgic smell that makes me it triggers all those happy endorphins of, of getting ready for Christmas and the anticipation of it all and dragging the tree in and putting the trunk in the water and you can smell that sort of creamy nutty dampness of the chopped trunk and the slight sort of 
freshness of the pine leaves, but also the warmth of like the velvet ribbons and the golden glow of the lights and turning all the lights down and drinking a glass of red wine, putting Strictly on, putting a blanket over you, just the most heavenly, homely scent. And I just love this one so much. It's so gentle as well. And I think that's what's really important about Beauty Pie candles, which I've burnt and loved and owned for years, that the, <laughs> the candles aren't as overpowering as some candles can be. They don't sort of fill your room with this big sort of smoky, heavy fragrance at all. And they're really subtle. So even if you have quite a small space, they'll fill it really beautifully without overpowering it. Yet if you have the candle going for quite a long time in a large space, it'll just float through the whole house. And it's amazing, honestly. Oh, God, delicious. I absolutely love this one. Oh, quite emotional just thinking about it. So I'm going to grab some water. Mm. <coughs> so this candle, if you can even believe it, is £26. How insane is that? Like most designer candles are probably in like the 50 to £60 mark. Honestly, it sort of blows my mind um, how amazingly priced that is. God, it smells so good. Again, I'd like this in a diffuser, please. Uh, beauty pie, please make that happen for everyone. Um, I imagine, like, if I were to gift this to anyone, I would give this, I mean, I'd have to buy two, kind of one for myself and one for the recipient. But this is the candle to to burn on Christmas Day if you're going to someone's house and so buy it for the host whoever's hosting and cooking Christmas Day buy them this candle light it the minute you get there throughout the whole of Christmas Day because it doesn't like it doesn't sort of um like clash with food flavors it's just more of an ambiance kind of fragrance it's not a sort of it's not too woody it's not too foody it's not too anything it's just a gentle gentle Christmas nostalgic scent burn it all of Christmas Day, Boxing Day, in those betwixt days, which we love, where you just eat cheese the whole time and you have no idea what day of the week it is. Oh, God, I can't wait. I love it. Um, that is just the perfect time to burn it. I mean, if you've bought it already, this is a Saturday night in front of Strictly type of fragrance of candle because it just gets you so in that festive mood without it being like, massively too Christmassy because it hasn't got any of those kind of Christmas pudding spice notes it's not that at all it's a Christmas tree almost like a Christmas wreath it's welcoming it's soft it's just delicious and if you are going to somebody else's house for Christmas this is a perfect gift for them because you're going to get to enjoy the in the smell the entire day as well I always do that I always give things that I like as well especially if it's a fragrance Mm, totally delicious one of the best um so I hope you liked that little description of that candle utterly utterly gorgeous also that green is just so heavenly oh yum 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 okay <laughs> thank you Natalie the perfect description of the power of the olfactive memory adore it can transport you somewhere in an instant I think that's why I love talking about perfume writing about perfume thinking about perfume because it's almost like this time machine that's more powerful than any photograph any song and there aren't many things in life that remind you of like the days in the past other than sort of stories that your parents might tell you but a smell can take you back to something so specific and so special and I find that mind-blowing and I love the science behind it I love the the art behind it and this sort of fusion of art and science is to me so fascinating it's a bit like food like it's so interesting how it can instill emotions and drive you to tears or make you laugh or help you in your grieving process so a lot of fragrances that I talk about with followers on uh, private sort of messages and they use fragrance in, in their grieving process because it reminds them of somebody and it helps them to kind of relive memories with them and almost feels like they're right there next to you. There's nothing else that can do that. It's so special, isn't it? Um, so I hope that if you do smell this candle, if you do buy this candle, it makes you feel the same way. Um, 
I want to talk about a little competition that we're doing. Very kindly, Beauty Pie have said that they will gift three fragrances to three people who are in this chat. So very important that you were listening throughout the show. So they have three fragrances and each of the three winners can choose the fragrance that they like out of the ones that I've talked about. So it's your choice. And the way that we're going to do this, okay, good luck, everyone. I'm going to ask you a question. And Holly from Beauty Pie is going to chat, is going to track the chat and almost like screen grab and record all the answers. And then later on, she's going to get in touch, randomly pick three winners and get in touch via email. So everyone who kind of takes part in this will have a chance. Are you ready? I'm going to give you like 10 seconds, then maybe 15 seconds to put the answer in the chat box. So everyone get their chat box open. Get your typing fingers ready. <clears throat> ah, OK, we ready. I'm going to ask you a question. OK, here we go. What is the base ingredient that features in all three of the new Beauty Pie perfumes? Oh my God, I love this. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, everyone is getting it right, by the way. Well done. Yeah. I should have made it harder. Oh, I didn't do my countdown. Okay, ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. I don't know how to do it. One and a half. Okay, zero. Well done, everyone. Everyone who answered. I mean, everyone put it right here. I think just amazing. Maybe I should have made it harder. No, I'm kind like that. Um, but no, it wasn't. A, it's not a fast to finger first situation. Everyone who has said the word vanilla, <laughs> Fiona Taylor. I wasn't listening. <laughs> that is my favorite comment thank you um <laughs> that's hysterical anyone who has answered that will be kind of put into kind of a prize draw random selection thing and Han uh, holly from beauty pie is going to email you if you have been selected and let me know which fragrance you've chosen you can choose any of the three fragrances that we talked about um <laughs> So that, just, that was just a flurry of the word vanilla going up. But yes, vanilla is in all of them, which is so interesting, isn't it? Because like I was saying before, Beauty Pie's fragrances have mostly been quite splashy, fresh, quite woody as well. And these all have this amazing like vanilla hug behind them. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, your comments are so funny. Sent it to someone on the channel. <laughs> Oh my god, brilliant. Yeah, girls should get a prize for not listening. That is hysterical kind of in the newsreader. Um anyway, as I said, all the fragrances and candles are out. Now the fragrances are 28 pounds. If you are a beauty pie member, which I hope you are, um, the candles 26 pounds, honestly. I would buy this and keep one in storage for next year, pop it back in the baubles box afterwards because it's limited edition. And they keep for candles, if you keep them in their boxes, they keep really well, keep it out of sunlight, just in case, do you know what I mean? Like I always worry that in the fragrance world, things get discontinued because of regulations with the ingredients and things like that. And then sometimes brought back, but it's all about mm -hmm. making the ingredients as safe as possible and all of that stuff. But I would get one for next year as well. If you love the fragrance and it comes to you, Get a second one because it's just so pocket friendly, isn't it? Amazing, amazing. Oh, wish BP did 100 mils of these new ones. I know. Okay, so these are all in the 50 mil. I mean, if everyone emails, you know, Beauty Pie enough, maybe they'll make that happen. Uh, the 100 mil, I've got his orange absolute. I don't know if it's still available in 100 mil, but this is the difference in size. But I do love this one. Also, I always think that a small bottle is great if you're traveling, especially around Christmas time, if you're going to go and stay with family or friends, uh, just makes it a little bit more portable. Um, I'm also really pleased to say that I got this kind of hot news just before we um, I came onto the um, to the Zoom. Coming back in spring is Brazilian lime leaves. Love. The discovery set 
of these three new fragrances, Angelique's Letters, La Poésie des Chiffres, and Figuier de Amalti, a discovery set is coming out mid-December, which is just brilliant because if you bought one of these or bought all three and you love them, then you can get a little discovery set which you can keep in like your handbag, which is perfect. Um, also, I also noticed online that Ballade en Forêt is back in stock. If you love a green fragrance, honestly, it is like this wallpaper has been like scrunched up into a ball and poured into this bottle. Green, fresh, damp, oh, almost like cool in the shade sort of type thing. Delicious. Ballad is 100 mils now too, right? I don't know. I think it is. If it is, amazing. Okay. Any other questions that anyone wants to ask me kind of towards the end of the show as we wrap things up? Um, my wish list is pleading me to stop, but I won't listen. <laughs> These are such good gifts as well for such a great price. Like, if, like I can imagine, Angelique's letters especially, I can imagine my nephew, who's 20, wearing this, but also his 18-year-old sister, because it's quite androgynous, it's sort of quite unigender, because you've got this sort of tobacco note and a little bit of that bourbon and the fresh lemon. Boise de Chiffre is just so dreamy like I would probably give this to my sister because she loves those sort of gourmand fragrances but I prefer if she wore something a little less sugary and so that's the one <laughs> and, and I think men would love this one too because it has a slight sort of green tone to it as well uh, which is beautiful beautiful I mean just give them to yourself it's been a hard year hasn't it give yourself a present okay let me just have a look at any um questions da, da, da. Alice who does Alice but it's been such a joy thank you um the one with Poppy um I wonder if you can help me choose between the three I love Santa Maria Novella since BP Mandarin Leaf and Philosikos in that case I would definitely suggest Figuier de Amalti there's something really special about this one that makes me think of a lot of the Santa Maria Novelli fragrances because um, they just smell like beautiful sort of nature snapshots don't they and I think that this one would be the one for you especially if you like Philosikos by Diktik which was the, one of the original big um, big fragrances which is my favourite of the three so tell if you question I love it um, I think that personally, I prefer, out of the three, I would wear mostly Angelique's letters because I love that feeling of a boozy fragrance with some freshness to it. I like a grounding fragrance. If I've got, especially if I've got my glam on, if I've got makeup, hair, if I've got sort of, you know, nails, that sort of thing. I like a fragrance to almost counterbalance that. It's more like a sort of sexy cologne than anything. It's just that lemon sherbet I know that sounds so weird but when you smell it you'll understand what I mean it's delicious ballad cedary not piney yes Vicky uh <laughs> which fragrance families would you put each fragrance in okay that is a great question I would I don't okay the honest truth is I don't really think in fragrance families like the traditional ones I think more powdery, skin scent, um, pudding, um, woodland, that sort of, those are the feelings that I try and match to fragrances. Um, and so with Angelique's letters, I'd say it's a really super chic, sophisticated cocktail lounge. That's the category I put it in. Figi de Amalfi. Oh, it's sort of, creamy but green I know that sounds like a total juxtaposition but that's exactly how it smells like La Poésie de Chiffre oh it's like a it's just a fresh cocoa fresh cup of cocoa with this sort of on a cold day because it's got this sort of spike of freshness to it they're so unusual and I think that's what's so cool about modern perfumery is that there aren't these strict categories that anything goes into but if you love the smell and it makes you feel amazing that's the most important thing so if you're not too sure perhaps wait until mid-december for the discovery kit 
um, which will have little samples of all of them. And then you can try before you commit to the bigger bottle. Um, my gosh, lots of messages. So, so sorry. I will catch up here. Uh, some really nice comments. Thank you. Um, OK, so if anyone's missed anything from the beginning, all of this is going to be uploaded onto YouTube so you can rewatch the whole thing and maybe watch it when you've got the fragrances, if you've bought them and when they arrive with you and you can almost like smell along with the YouTube. Uh, yes, please, Beauty Pie, bring more scented chow jars. Agree. Um, thank you. Which one you get for somebody who likes flower bomb? Definitely La Poésie de Chiffre because there is this, there was a, a slightly more floral note to this one. Yeah. And Flower Bomb is quite, uh, has a lot of vanilla and sandalwood and coziness to it as well. I would absolutely put Poesy de Chiffre in the Flower Bomb, like if you like it zone, uh, which is the fragrance that lingers as you walk by. I would actually probably say Poesy de Chiffre again. It's just, it's got a richer, slightly sort of thicker base to it. So I think it would probably linger a little bit longer. Um, what sizes will the perfumes be in the discovery set? I know that Beauty Pie will know the exact answer to that, but I'm guessing they're probably going to be, do I have any here, little sample sizes? I'm guessing it'll be this sort of size. This is not Beauty Pie, but this sort of vial size, which you could probably get a good 10 to 15, even 20 sprays out of. It's a good couple of days of wear to really sort of feel, see how you feel about it. Um, <clears throat> Kim, you can make a bucket of slurry sound delicious, Alice. I've got literally, I want that framed on my wall. I love that comment. Thank you. That's really kind. <laughs> uh, someone suggested poesy starts slightly like after eights and then settles more sexily. Oh my gosh, that's so interesting. I love that um, sort of story. Where's my brotter? Okay, so yes, there's a tiny little bit of mint in this fragrance, but not it's not a kind of peppermint bendix sort of um you know after eights <laughs> it's not a it's not a very after eight type of mint it's just a tiny hint almost it's like a coolness so rather than being like an edible toothpaste mint it's just this very sort of it creates like a cool breeze in it and that's what stops it from going too puddingy so it's not minty. It's not like chocolate mint or anything. It just, it's more just like a coolness. Um, okay, I want to smell like a sexy arterate. I mean, you will love this because it's got that bitter chocolate vibe. Your French accent is perfect. Merci beaucoup. My father is French and I'm bilingual. Who is the perfume of the Mixies perfumes? Well, I don't know specifically who makes which one, but I know that Frank Vocal is one of the perfumers here and he is amazing. I've interviewed him and chatted to him loads. He's such an interesting perfumer. He's made fragrances for Le Labo. Um, oh gosh, I mean, everyone. Like these are perfumers who make big selling massive like superstar hit fragrances and that's why they're so well regarded in the industry because they're alchemists they're incredible sort of magicians of flavor like incredible musicians if you want of like ingredients uh Sidonie Lancessor, Serge de Oliveira really established credible perfumers and that's what I love about um Beauty Pie um someone asked me to layer with Ambalade to make it more feminine I want to know too Oh, what to layer with in ballad or for to make it more feminine? Um, you know what? I would pair it really beautifully with Figue de Malfi because it stays within the same sort of colour spectrum of those deep kind of greens and sort of like a almost like beige, um, like I'm thinking of the Adriatic coast and these lovely sort of creamy stones. And it goes really well with Balladin for en Forêt because you're in the same sort of, it's almost like you're in the same place, you're in the same location, woodland, greens, coastal, fresh, and it doesn't clash too much with the greens. I think if you were to put La Poésie uh, de Chiffre with it, it would make it too sweet, I think. Um, so I think together Figuier and Imbalad would be amazing together. 
Um, <laughs> thank you. There's some really, the power of BP accent. I mean, yes, the power of, of Marcia. Amazing. Uh, my mum used to wear Chanel Coco. Oh, yum. Which would be similar style, please? I would go Angelique Letters because it just has that slight booziness to it and a slight edge of like Chanel Coco is almost like a really sexy Coca-Cola smell and there's a little tiny bit of stickiness to it that reminds me of Angelique's letters oh delicious um we'll love be back soon I know that it is going to be discontinued and I think that's because of certain sort of ingredients and certain regulations, very sadly. Who knows, in the future, it might be back soon in another sort of life, um, fingers crossed, because it is really beautiful. Um, which is the most fresh of the three scents? That's a great question as well, because they all have a freshness to them. Um, Okay. It's between, and I sort of put these equally, Figue de Malti and Angelique's Letters. They both have some really crisp top notes that carry through the whole of the way through the fragrance as you smell it throughout the day. So I put those two as the fresher of the, of the three. Um, there we go. So I love the idea of wearing ballad and then spring Figue on top for the evening. Amazing. Um, but yeah, listen, everyone, thank you so much for joining this little masterclass. I hope that it was fun to hear about fragrance just in a slightly different way, because I always make it about kind of metaphors and trying to put people in scenarios where they might wear this fragrance. Um, and I hope you really enjoyed it. It was really special to share this with you because these fragrances are amazing. And as I said, this candle had a really emotional moment today smelling it and it's really special. I hope that if you've bought this one, you will feel the same. But I think we're going to wrap things up. Um, thank you, everyone, for your really, really kind comments. That's so nice. Have a lovely evening. I hope something is good on the telly tonight and all you've got a nice cup of something. Um, and enjoy your purchases if you've made some. They're all available on the website now. I know that the Beauty Pie team are going to get in touch with the winners of our little mini competition. Enjoy. Get in touch with me on DM on Instagram and let me know which one you chose and what you think about it. Um, but thank you so much. I really appreciate everyone turning up this evening and listening to this. And it's been a real joy. So we shall bid adieu now and have a lovely, lovely evening, everyone. Bye. Bye, Alice. Thank you. Bye. Bye.